no gain on the play. Pete Harris just said, oh, I'm not going to let you get away this time, buddy. Boy, he has been impressive, though. This bent guy can scramble. 6.06 to go in the third quarter. 17-14, Ole Miss leads by three. Memphis State will have to punt on fourth and nine for the Rebel 46. Fight in punt formation. There's the snap. Kicks it straight up and high. Fair catch called for. And getting out of the way is Sandroni. It's going to be down at the one-yard line. The ball hit and bounced straight up in the air. Todd Sandroni called fair catch, then decided to get out of the way. As he felt it might have gotten in the end zone, a good bounce, and it probably would have. The fight got a fortunate bounce and went up a 45-yard punt to the one. Memphis State is able to down it. And with the Rebels up by 3, 17, 14, 5.46 to go in the third quarter, 99-yard drive ahead. <laughs> Ole Miss backed up. Full house backfield for the Rebels. Rush Shouse has two tight ends. There's a snap. Give thick pin off the left side. Gives the Rebels some breathing room to the three. Picks up a couple. It'll be second down and seven. Maybe the four. Jeff Sawyer on the tackle and Bobby Avery, the two ends. Five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Thick pin points to big Adrian Struther. That's probably to say, hey, way to block. That's way to get some room. Second down and eight. Big Biggie got about two and a half to the three and a half. E.T. they call it. Full house backfield again for the Rebels. Second down and eight from the three. Randy Baldwin tries the middle, nothing doing. He stacked up at the five. Gains a couple, but not much running room. Now they say he penetrated to the six. So they're going to put him on the six yard line, give him three. It'll bring up a third down and five from the six yard line. Lish Trice, the left tackle from Memphis State, and Rick Fredette, backup nose guard, is in there now, made the stop. Lewis Gordon is in a tight end with Dan Westmoreland. The guys in the backfield are Big Pen, Darren Billings, and Maurice Shaw. Opus is four of seven on third down conversions. Here's a third and five for the six. There's a snap. Pinch, left side, Big Pen, needs a block. Got one, dives for the 10. It's going to be close. I think he's a tad bit short, but we'll go down to Stan, who is right there on top of it. It all depends where they spot it, and I'm going to say they're going to be, let's see, a step out of the way, I can say. They're going to be about an inch or two short. So Ole Miss is going to have a big decision. Nice second effort lineman by yes, Big Pen. It really is. Now, he, he's going to be short, uh, you know, like I say, about two or three or four inches, I think, but you know, they had to get it almost at 11, and he's not there. Lish Trice and Reginald Jones on the stop for Memphis State. Well, they'll stretch the chains, and indeed, it's short. About the half, half football. Well, you don't gamble right here. You try to put the football out. And that's what the Rebels are going to do. Four minutes, 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Ole Miss 17, Memphis State 14. The Rebels will be faced with fourth down and short. About a half a yard from the 10, but they'll punt. Rebels scored on a 68-yard drive here in the third quarter to gain the lead, 17-14. Vincent Brownlee caught the touchdown pass. Charles Childers in his end zone. Ball at the 10, there's the snap. Lynn Rogers Jr. deep to receive. Off the side of the foot, not a good punt. Hits at the 30, takes a Memphis State bounce back to the 25 of Ole Miss as Todd Santoni slides into down. Oh my goodness. Only a 15-yard punt for Charles Childers. He just mishit it. Went off the toe. Off the side of the foot. And that's not typical Charles Childers. He's pretty consistent. But Memphis State now with excellent field position at the Rebel 25, trailing by three. Far hash mark, nine formation for Benton. He has a slot wide out right. Rebels with a five-man front defensively. There's the snap. Gibbs, second man. Left side is Porter. He slices to the 21. And is stopped right on the hash. So a gain of four. Second down and six. Sean Cobb up to make the stop for Ole Miss. And there with him is Artis Ford. Artis Ford, sophomore from Florida. Juco transfer. Second down and six from the 21. Four yard pickup there. There's the snap. 
delay. It's in Porter on the carry. Left side following blockers. Has some room. And he's inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. First down Memphis State. A gain of seven for the freshman running back, Larry Porter. I like the way this guy runs the football. Jim Lentz and Jeff Carter came up to make the stop. Double defense. Glad to dig in. Well, he Try runs to keep the Tigers out. He runs especially hard when he gets around that goal line, that's for sure. First down, 10 for Memphis State, the Ole Miss 14. Tigers trailing the Rebels 17-14, an official's timeout. As something's messed up. Now they're coming over to the sidelines. I don't know what the problem may be. Are well, they talking to the clock operator? It may be... Uh, 25 second clock is messed up, Stan tells us, okay. Well, it's on zero now, so it's got to be messed up. Three minutes, seven seconds. Third quarter. Clock now starts as they reset it, and it's working, okay. Memphis State again breaks the huddle. First and ten for the Rebel 14. Bar hash mark, slot right, high formation in the backfield. They have Mosby and Porter in there in the backfield. Then the quarterback looks at a five-man front. Give second man left side is Porter again. He's hit and dropped at the 12-yard line after a game of a couple. And coming in is Pete Harris to grab him from behind and pull him down. And Harris came out of nowhere. I thought Porter was going to have a little alley there to run in. They're going to spot it at the 11, give him a, a three-yard gain, second and seven. Porter with 35 yards on 17 carries. So that's not the greatest average in the world, but. He's getting He's the yards. He's got a couple of touchdowns, too. Second out seven from the 11. Slot this time to the right. Benton rolls out right, being pressured, fires. It's complete at the 10 and dropped at the eight yard line. As Mosby out of the backfield made the uh, catch and Sean Cobb on the tackle for Ole Miss. And Benton was nearly sacked on the blitz down there, Stan, it looked like. Yeah, the Rebels had a blitz coming in. Chris Mitchell just almost got to him in time. He made a good throw. State as Benton on the option called his own number, kept it, and sliced off the left side to gain five yards and a first down for Memphis State. And the Tigers threatening to regain the lead in this one. 127 to go in a quarter. 17-14. Ole Miss leads. Memphis State wants a timeout. We'll be back after this from your local sponsor. Chris Mitchell, <laughs> who are we leaving out? Everybody was there. But no game for Porter as the Tigers were going to sweep right, Stan, and 
Nice pursuit by the Rebels. Great pursuit, and uh, in the dressing room of the Rebels, over each player's locker, it says, swarm to the ball. That's exactly what the defense did that time. Second and goal for the three. Near hash this time. Split backfield. 48 seconds to go in the third quarter. Memphis State trailing 17-14, but threatening. There's a snap, fake toss left. Benton's gonna keep this way. He's headed to the pipe. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, Benton. They fake the sweet left, a neck and bootleg back this way. And Benton made a great move on a Rebel about the two and went in and scored. And now one of the Memphis State players, a Tupelo native, Russell Copeland, comes racing down the Rebel sideline and pointing at the Ole Miss Rebels before he goes to the other side. Memphis State has regained the lead with 38 seconds to go in quarter number three. Well, we've got a barn burner on our hands. It's a dandy. Memphis State 20, Ole Miss 17. Point after attempt by Joe Allison coming up. There's a snap and a kick. And it's good. 21-17, Memphis State by four. 38 seconds, third quarter. We'll be back after we hear from Bud Light. seconds to go in the third quarter, 21-17. Memphis State leads, we owe you a station ID. Let's work that in right now and pause. 10 seconds for station ID on the Rebel Football Network. That was Tyrone Montgomery that returned the kick instead of Ashley, it was three instead of 33. Out to the 30, they put it right on the 30, in fact. The Rebels will have a first down near hash, trailing by four. Split backfield, Shouse back to throw, fires far side, overthrows the world. I mean, not even close. Derek Owens was uh, out about five yards. I think Shouse may have intentionally got rid of that one. Oh, yeah. Threw it away. We want to send best wishes to a couple of people that we've been handed notes, Joe Clearman and Scott Max. Scott Max is in intensive care at Baptist in Jackson listening to the game. He would have been here if he didn't have the misfortune of being there. Joe Clearman, a recent serious injury in a high school football game. Both of them, we wish speedy recoveries and best of luck. Our thoughts are with you. Out route, incomplete at the 40. Again, the pass off the mark. Tyrone Montgomery at the first down stick. Doe for the ball, but couldn't get to it, Lyman. Yeah, it was, it was just a... Uh... Chow's is, his timing and the receiver's timing working together is not quite there. They're a little bit out of sync. Well, they look great on some situations and on others, they're bad. Third down and 10 for Ole Miss from the 30, the Rebel 30. Chow's back to throw a blitz. He's in trouble and breaks the tackle. Now is sacked at the 27. And it's a three yard loss, fourth down. Larry Cox is the man that got to rush Chow's, a right tackle. The clock is running out to end the third quarter. And that's it. After three, Memphis State leads 21 to 17 over the Ole Miss Rebels. We'll be back after this from your local sponsor.
down and 13. A bad punt moments ago by Charles Childers. Only a 15 yarder to the Rebel 25 set up a Memphis State touchdown. And that's the difference right now. 21-17 Memphis State. There is the snap. Line of scrimmage at 28 and the kick all here. Bomb this time to the 22 yard line taken by Glenn Rogers Jr. Boyd's one tackle gets to the 30 and drop at the 30 where Memphis State will have a first down and 10. A 51 yard punt from 15 to 51. Well, the kicking game has played a big part here tonight. And uh, as a matter of fact, that short punt by Childers went just off the side of his foot on the last time the Rebels kicked. Carried only out to the 25 yard line, which set up the Memphis State go ahead touchdown. First and 10 from Memphis State from the 30. Jack Muirhead appeared to trip up that return man Rogers on the punt. Benton gives second man right side Porter. Porter hits a wall after a four yard gain to the 34. Reggie Parrott there to make the tackle. We have a gain few of more. four, second down six. Excuse me, I'm sorry, David. We have a few more scores. Uh, at halftime, it's Rutgers 21 and Kentucky nothing. Uh, in the second period, LSU leading Georgia six to three. In the second period, SMU over Vanderbilt 14 to nothing. And BYU is leading Miami 10 to seven in the second period. Good games across the country here this evening. Second down and six from the 34. There's the snap, second man, it's Porter. Porter has enough for the first down as he gets to the 40 yard line. Chauncey Godwin and Russell Copeland, both from Tupelo, Mississippi, were pushing and shoving each other out here on the outside. Hey guys, y'all used to be buddies, right? Muirhead and Mitchell. That was the Tupelo days so. though. Mitchell and Muirhead on the stop. They have to stay with the first down, a six yard gain. That's what they needed, they got it. First and 10 for the Tigers from the 40. Clock running, 13.43 to go in the game. Memphis State 21, Ole Miss 17. Split backfield for Memphis State. Benton has receivers wide left and right, takes a snap. Flare pass, it's dropped, it looked like it was behind him, loose on the ground, they say incomplete. Oh, I don't know about that one. Let's go down the stand. It was close. Was the receiver ahead of him? I think it was uh, a good call. It was awfully close uh, behind the line of scrimmage. It could have been behind the receiver, of course. That would have made it a free ball. But it was in front of him just a little. He dropped it by his hand. But the Ole Miss defense was right there just in case. You know, David and Lyman, last year Ole Miss uh, finished last in the SEC in total uh, yards giving up. But they made the play defensively when they had to to win ball games. Perfect indication for the Florida game and some of the other ones. And hopefully the defense can come up with some big plays to get them going here. Second down and 10 for Memphis State. Benton back to throw. Being chased. He rushes to the right side. Fires deep downfield. The ball is incomplete. It's overthrown as Danny Boyd was covering Copeland on the sideline. Copeland, uh, Copeland wanted a holding call on Boyd interference, but the man in the striped shirt got tangled up with him too. So. <laughs> He was as guilty as, as uh, Boyd might have been. No call, and it's way overthrown anyway. Incomplete. Third down and 10 for Memphis State from their own 40. Now the Tigers will break cover. For the split backfield, wide left is John Bush. Bumble, it's loose on the ground. Memphis State recovers at the 40. A flag is down, too. So we'll see. It'll either be against the Rebels if Memphis State will have another opportunity or the Rebels will decline it. It will be fourth down. Memphis State will have to punt. Joe Stanley, the strong side guard, recovered the ball for the Tigers. It's the illegal procedure against Memphis State and will be declined by Ole Miss. Ball at the 40. Call it. That was a battle loss of the yard. Fourth down, 11 from the 39. Fight is in the punt for Memphis State. Vincent Brownlee deep to receive for Ole Miss, the Juco transfer from Itawamba. 13.08 to go in a game. Memphis State leading 21-17. There's the snap to fight. It's a good one. He has plenty of time. Gets the kick away. Nice, nice spiraling kick. Drives Brownlee back to the 10-yard line. Makes one man and trying to get to the near sidelines. He is in trouble and gets to about the 11. He runs out of real estate. Beautiful punt by Mike. Good coverage. Oh, there's a late hit and a flag, though. Brownlee is out of bounds and a very, just basically, to put it honestly, a stupid look. He hit the guy out of bounds. Looked like a yard or so out. 
And Lyman coaches just go crazy. Boy, you have a great punt, good coverage, and you make a silly mistake like that. Oh, no, they're calling clipping against Ole Miss. Maybe that's why they got in there so late. Yeah. They got hit from behind. I didn't see that. I just saw the guy coming in late on top of Brownlee. They say it's Ole Miss clipping. Here's, here's a staggering statistic. The Rebels have rushed 24 times now for a total of 21 yards. These are third period uh, statistics. Hey, that's exactly what happened. We were the ones that made this, the silly mistake. Yeah. It was uh, Trey Sutherland hitting a guy late, threw him into the return man out of bounds. As we watched the replay. Shows rolls out, pumps once he's standing in the end zone. Fire and he's got to hold it wide open. Top at the 45 to midfield. They say he's down at the 47 yard line. Holder was wide open. Billy Brewer gambling on that one, sent his quarterback into the end zone. And he had people all around him and still ripped off a 42 yard strike to Holder. Jeremy Williams made the tackle. Jeffrey Holder, the senior from Base Springs, with a tremendous catch. Woo. At the 48 is where they'll spot it. First and 10 to the Rebels at their own 48. Split backfield. Shows rolls right, looks, fires, near side, incomplete. On an out route, it was intended for John Moore at the Memphis State 45. And will give Ole Miss second down and 10 from their own 48. When your business is on the line, choose a long-distance telephone company that will help you reach your goals. Community Group, the Southern Communications Company. Second down for Ole Miss. From the Rebel 48, 12.25 to go. The clock has stopped. Memphis State leads 21-17. Both teams have scored a touchdown here in the second half. Chow's on the options, going to keep. He's got a lot of room for the 50 to the 45. Memphis State then shoved out of bounds. It's right at the stick. It will be close. Bobby Avery pushed him out of bounds, but Shouse faked on the dive and kept it. You know, Shouse is a big quarterback lineman. He's 6'4", 205, a sophomore. And even in some of the uh, preseason workouts, he would pitch and be the lead blocker. I mean, he's a big guy. Oh, yeah. He's, he's 6'4", what, 215, something like that. And he's got really good speed. Uh, Darnell, who was our quarterback a year ago, and I did. But he did not have the speed or the mobility that Russ Shouse does. It's an eight-yard game, they say, so Russ was knocked out at the 44, so it's third down and two for the Rebels at the Memphis State 44. Wishbone look, Gibbs straight ahead, diving and looking like he's got the first down, I believe, is uh, Thigpen or is it Billings? It's Thigpen. No, it is Billings. Okay, Darren Billings on the carry. And he got the first down, Billings. Dan Barto made the tackle. For Memphis State, Darren Billings, junior from Jackson, Tennessee, on the carry. Boy, we have got a pile of running backs. The running game has not been overly impressive tonight, but there's some good backs back there. First down for the Rebels at the Memphis State 42. Shows back to throw, being chased, fires. He's got Derek Owens. It's complete at the 33 yard. Memphis State looked like an obvious face mask, they say. No flag, got his helmet instead. I don't know, some of the coaches are screaming face mask. It's going to be short of the first down, but a beautiful catch by Derek Owens and a nice job by Russ Shouse avoiding the Memphis State rush. Well, Derek Owens did a smart thing in kind of coming back to that ball. And he had to leap high to get it because the ball was, was thrown extremely high. An eight-yard gain to the 33. A blitz. Shouse fakes the keeper, uh, fakes it, then keeps inside the 30 to the 25 to the 24. Russ Shouse saw the blitz. He pulled that ball literally away from his fullback and kept it for the first down. Jeremy Williams on the tackle, and Shouse down for about a seven, eight, no, let's say a nine-yard gain to the 24. Stan, that was impressive. Great run by Russ Shouse, and I told Jeremy Williams at 5'9", 172, took on a load because Russ Shouse just talked about how big and strong he was. He looked like a fullback. He put that headgear right in that chest. Rebels are driving. 21-17, Memphis State leads with 10.43 to go. Ole Miss first and 10 for the Memphis State. 24, out pass, incomplete. Holder was wide open at the 19, but Memphis State sent some pressure up there. 
42, Bobby Avery was putting the heat on Chow's, made him throw it a little bit early, it appeared. So second and 10 from just inside the 25. We call it the 24. And the ball again at the near hash. That was a play where the Rebels went to the wide side of the field on the out route, and Jeffrey Holder was open, but Russ had to hurry the throw. Randy Baldwin and Jim Earl Thomas in the backfield for Ole Miss. Holder is wide right. Brownlee is wide left. On second and 10, there's the snap. The pitch to Thomas. He's hit and dropped for a loss. Memphis State read the option well. Well, they penetrated in a hurry there. Jeff Sawyer makes a tackle on Jim Earl Thomas. It's a loss of four to the 28-yard line. 10.30 to go. Now Ole Miss faced with third down and 14. Trailing by four. 10.20 to go in the fourth quarter. Clock continues to run. Derek Owens comes wide right. Wide left goes Tyrone Montgomery. Split backfield. Big Ben, or rather, uh, Jim Earl Thomas and Randy Baldwin. Rebels are 5 of 12 on third down conversion. Shouts in the pocket, back to throw. In trouble, he sacked. Defenders deep. And the receivers covered up. Lish Trice makes the sack, the left defensive tackle for Memphis State at the 32, a loss of four. It'll be fourth down. Owens and uh, Montgomery were deep, Stan, and they were covered well. The secondary had that one covered extremely well, and they got good, good pressure on rush hour. Now a field goal attempt by the run. A 50 yard attempt for Brian Lee. Childers holding, there's the kick. With the football at their own 32, the give is to Porter off the right side, off right tackle, he's to the 35, and stacked up there about a three yard gain. Sean Cobb on the tackle. And Chris Mitchell coming up. They spot it just beyond the 35. We'll call it a three yard gain, second down and seven. High formation. Five-man front for the Rebels. Benton back in the pocket. It's going to look to throw. He's being chased. He is on the sidelines, hit, breaks a tackle, dives to the line of scrimmage, which was the 35, and all that nets him nothing. But the Rebels had a chance to drop him for a loss, and the guy's just done a good job of getting away. Jack Muirhead, the sophomore from Vicksburg, Warren Central, up to make the tackle. So third down and seven for Memphis State at their own 35-yard line. The ball at the far hash actually lost about a half a yard because the ball was a little bit across the 35. Now it's right on the line. Memphis State is 3 of 12 on third down conversions. Eye formation for the Tigers. Keith Benton is going to option to the left. He is hit. Fumble! And the Rebels pick it up. Philip Kent reached and grabbed Keith Benton. Pulled him to the ground and on the way down just stripped the ball from him and the Rebels will have great field position. What a play by the junior from Jackson, Mississippi's Madison Ridgeland High. Wow. Well, it comes at a time when that desperately needed because time was on the side of Memphis State. There's eight minutes and seven seconds left to go in the ball game and the Rebels are down by four. The field goal's not gonna do them any good. Of course, they tried one of the last possession hoping, of course, that uh, they could get close enough that another field goal might win it. A but big this... defensive play by Kent. Not only did he cause the fumble, he recovered it. From the Memphis State 34, Russ Shouse rolls out left, now turns right, fires. He's got Dan Westmoreland, overthrows him at the 15, the tight end. Turned over his left shoulder, then had to adjust and go look over his right shoulder. Cost him a step. 